breaking news on young adventurer Abby Sunderland. The California teenager trying to sail around the world alone is stranded halfway through her journey, but she's okay. We'll talk to her parents in just a moment, but first, CBS News correspondent Bill Whitaker is outside the family home in Thousand Oaks, California. Bill, good morning. Good morning, Harry. Abby's family, indeed this whole community, says their prayers have been answered. Abby was attempting to break a world sailing record, and she was lost in the middle of the Indian Ocean. But last night, word came she is adrift but safe. There's really bad storms down there. 16-year-old Abby Sunderland knew she'd run into foul weather when she started on her solo around-the-world sailing adventure in January. And indeed, it was windswept seas that halted her journey halfway around the world, hundreds of miles from land in the Indian Ocean. All communication stopped yesterday, the day after Abby posted this message on her blog. I've been in some rough weather for a while, with winds steady at 40 to 45 knots with higher gusts. A Qantas Airbus found her at daybreak, guided by signals from emergency beacons. The mast has been knocked down or torn off the boat. They did talk to Abby by VHF radio. She says she's fine. Winds have reportedly died down and Abby has plenty of food to tide her over until the closest boat can reach her sometime tomorrow morning. But while family and friends are relieved, many are still questioning whether her parents exercised good judgment in letting a 16-year-old undertake such a risky adventure. I'm not by any means condemning their decision to let her go, but there, there are huge risks as they are with any sport where, where you're on the extreme edge. This isn't the journey's ending Abby was hoping for, but it is a happy ending nonetheless. Three ships are now making their way toward Abby's location, and she's expected to be picked up within the next 48 hours. Harry? Bill Whitaker in Thousand Oaks, thank you so much. 